Well, well, well. <laughs> Finally, some uh, release from the past like three weeks. There was basically nothing on the store aside from just some social applications, uh, updated kind of something for Horizon. Drama with Facebook and Oculus. This is just like <laughs> some weird politics going on recently. But finally, we have something to play. New. I mean, not technically new. I think I saw Gravity Labs like. I don't know where. I feel like maybe on the Rift Store or something. So it's not. Oh! Okay, thank you for this elevator music. Um, it's definitely nothing new. But I think it's gonna be very resemblant to the gadget here uh, we have on quest it's basically imagination kind of creating kind of we guarantee a 99.99 .99 pattern reconstruction what the fuck is this movement oh shit it's teleport okay consider upgrading to our platinum service like just creating uh, <laughs> you know this show back in the day, Domino Day? It's basically the same concept, you're just creating a route to kinda reach the goal, something like that. Gadgeteer was more open with Dominos. This is pretty much just like Fixix, I think, thing. Open the door! <laughs> Welcome to Gravity Lab. To Weird. comply with regulations, you must absolve a tutorial. Thank you Teleport. For Gravity Lab, the leading Nowadays. gravity modification and cat food brand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's pretty much because as well my <laughs> controller is fucked. Teleportation is just very weird. That's why I prefer Welcome smooth. Welcome to Gravity Lab. To comply with regulations, Online you must features. absolve a tutorial. Synchronized Thank you for course. choosing Gravity Lab, the leading gravity modification and cat food what brand. Are? Oh, can you open? <laughs> oh, it's not even interactable. What the hell? Locomotion, teleport, rotate. What's this? Uh, uh, Welcome to fuck. Gravity Lab. To comply with regulations, you must absolve a tutorial. Thank you for choosing Gravity Lab. The leading gravity... <laughs> Our sensors detected possible structural damage due to micrometeorites. Show menu. We recommend using our patented site-to-site -site transport to enter the tutorial airlock. You can initiate the transport with the menu I'm on so the back I'm so confused of what's happening. Like, sometimes the in controls front of you are is an example test scenario. old school. To simulate the production use of our equipment, we created tests that use items to transport balls into bends. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this scenario is pre-solved and the only thing you need to do is to run the solution. Mm. Open the menu and press the run solution button. Oh! Run. Ah, okay, so it's pretty much just like before it was showing the route, how it will travel through the obstacles. Congratulations! You now know how to run a solution. Next. We will show you how to spawn items and modify their position with your prototype. Wait, someone has a high score on the tutorial? Excuse you. <laughs> to solve this test scenario, you have to spawn a new item from your toolbox. Open the menu, select the board, and then place it in the correct spot. Afterwards, run the solution. I'm a genius. No, seriously, what's happening? This is very like old school kind of gameplay. I'm kind of surprised. Congratulations! Especially like you now with the UI. The That's what I'm talking testing. about. We have to inform you that from now on, you are liable for all damages afflicted to the space-time continuum by the misuse of our equipment. Wait, friends, high school? Who skyworks? The reception will give you an overview <laughs> of available tests and your overall progress. How do you even get? Ah, uh, because it's time. Okay, I was just like, okay. Okay, just start level. I just wanna. Do something. Let's do some more testing with the acceleration board. Grab labs economy option for reliable object displacement. Hmm. So we just have boards. For now, I guess. So let me place it here. Just to travel faster. I guess 
Yeah. Like that. Gas curved. Like here. I don't know. And with the third one we should reach, I think, the destination. Let's leave it, I think, here. Wait. Just a little bit like that. No? Yeah, I think the speed is fine. They're kind of like here slowing down, but maybe it's do here like that. Ah, this is better. Yeah, I think we Gucci. It's very easy. Like, but I don't think I'm gonna have like high score because <laughs> games like that you have to be creative. I'm dumb as fuck, so I just go for something that would work that I think um, those are especially not games for me <laughs> like I didn't play gadget here because of this I'm not even in the top 10 oh my god I wasted a ball hey I, I put it more than I used to parts used how the hell people did that <laughs> This level. Grab Labs acceleration board can push objects upwards. This might be required here. What? Uh, what? This? Oh shit. How the hell do I put it upwards? What is this? Can I switch it like, you know, kind of the current? <laughs> Hello? I know that I'm that stupid that I can't figure out. But come on. <laughs> oh, is it propelling? Oh, it's propelling. So it's not a normal board. It's like propelling just to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Mm, here? Balls. Okay, run the test. Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> okay, this is not that bad, but <laughs> it's just like sheep, literally on the farm. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> how? Okay, how people just did that with those high scores? I can't. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Our patented gravity modification technology can be localized to a specific object with our gravity modifier. Modifier. So if it passes, something happens. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Gravity effect. Invert. Ooh. That's cute. Oh shit. <laughs> what if I invert like that? Can they go straight to the tube? That way I can maybe s score a high score or something. Oh! Shit, it was close. Okay, we're going for this. Please, leave their board. <laughs> what does it look like? Okay. They're hitting there. It's not straight to the hall. It's not my speciality. Seems like it. Ah, I'm still... Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. I, that's pretty much, I feel like, the premise of this game. Basic testing. I'm not even gonna play like, you know, insane amount of time with this because 
it's too much thinking for me. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like, kind of confused about the graphics. It's just like this background with just, I guess moon. Yeah, I guess moon. If we're seeing Earth, we're on the moon. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> It feels kind of weird because uh, we already know that on the quest there could be some really high quality kind of games. I'm not saying this game should have it because it's for puzzles. It's a puzzle game, you, so you focus on the mechanics and stuff like that. As well as... Welcome to the state of the art oh. gravitational testing facility. Our staff has been evacuated, but feel free to begin testing without us. Please refer to the instruction cards on how to use the micro teleportation device to enter the testing rooms. I guess this is the number of people that already played the game. I'm kinda I'm inclined if it's for the quest exclusively or like globally. Signal meter. I really don't appreciate the games that have, you know, teleport locomotion. Is there like a menu to choose? S smooth one? Yeah, there is! So... Turning... Smooth... Faster... Fast head... Fast head! <laughs> okay, see that? Now we were talking! Seems to be some kind of museum of like the mechanics and how they work. Our acceleration plate is a must have for any workplace. It applies a small amount of okay. to the objects. This is a color. Not recommending it to be used as a <laughs> this is what? Our laser gate uses a high frequency electromagnetic field to stop any item in its path. Mm. Configurable to either open or close when a signal is applied. It can be used to build complex machines. We strongly advise against it being worn as a collar. Hey! I wanted to wear as a collar. Discrimination. Yeah, I'm nothing to do for me because I'm too dumb for games like that. I especially accelerate in adventure or action games, you know. Just fast paced kind of thingy. Please don't play. Thank you. It's cool that it's interactable, kinda. Or can I like sit in the chair? Whatever. Um, conclusion. It's a working puzzle game. <laughs> I feel like I did not play Gadgeteer for the same reason that for me this game is like whatever. Because I would have to spend so much, much time thinking here. And especially nowadays I can't really afford it. Um, but it seems fun. If someone is like, you know, space junkie and puzzle enthusiast, this is definitely the thing. Not for me, but definitely for someone who appreciates something that was this fast travel. Yeah, but it could be graphically a bit higher, but this game is not focused on that, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're done here.